and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have my May favorites. I'm gonna share those with you today and I am so excited because I have really, really good ones this month. So before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe and the little button down there and if you are ready to know my May favorites and just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start with my most favorite thing of all. Well, I have two things that I'm like extremely excited about. So the first one is called Freck and I have been on a kick with using for, um, like fa <clears throat> and the first <clears throat> the first product I have here is Freck and this is the uh, long wear freckles makeup and it's basically a tiny tiny little thing and it has a little brush just like that and what you do is just dot freckles and I have been so obsessed with painting some freckles on my face I actually do have a couple freckles like underneath all this makeup I found this through a makeup artist on Instagram her name's Annie Cherry she's from the UK and I love her so much she's also one of my favorites um, I love her style and she uses this religiously for her uh, like makeup looks and I just love how they look and I am obsessed and this is something that I like I'm constantly trying to get better at and like actually dotting my freckles but it's something that I've been wearing like constantly since I got it because it's just so good and I think it looks so pretty obviously with certain makeup looks but like you guys can tell I have a couple you know today and I just have been loving so um yeah and it was super fast shipping I think I order it like it got to me like in three days from ordering it and it, then it got to me so it was just super fast and I have been loving just wearing like false freckles the next one that I am obsessed I think it's to say the least is pigments and I found these through Annie as well and they are from the UK the brand of these pigments is called peaches and cream and obviously everything's gonna be linked down below so the pigment that I'm wearing inside my inner corners today is called pixie and it's a iridescent color with um, some like pink and a little bit of purple undertones and this has been like my ultimate favorite um, next I have famous this is more of a like coppery um, gold tone and it looks so pretty with a really warm like crease then I have Lux, which is a pink with gold undertone. The next one, it's called Gatsby, and it's a gold. This is so beautiful as a highlight, too. Um, this is a gold pigment. Then I have Mer Mermaze, which is, this is one of their best-selling ones. It has pink and blue undertones. It's a iridescent one, and it looks so pretty on the lid. Just if you were to, like, cut your crease and then just keep it, um, like, with the concealer, whatever you use to cut the crease, and then pop this on top of that. So, so pretty. And then the last one I have here is Fantasy, and this is another one, Iridescent. This one has more of a gold and pink undertone, which is amazing as well something that I actually learned is that to put for the pigments to look really sparkly do not use a flat shader brush use more of a fluffy brush like a crease uh, fluffy brush um, that's what I use and it makes my pigments look so amazing um, so yeah a little tip right there for you following that you know pigment uh, craziness that I've been going for um, I have another favorite which is the glitter glue now I have never used this glitter uh, glitter glue before this is from Too Faced I hear I heard that the NYX ones is really really good too um, but I had already this one and I have used it before I've used I played with pigments before but not like these are like super fine milled pigments and super easy to work with I've used it with the MAC ones and I've noticed that they're a little bit thicker I don't know how to explain it, but they don't look as good as these look. Yeah, I picked this one up a long time ago, used it a couple times, and then since I've been on this like pigment kick, this has been my go-to. It like works really, really well with pigments. I put a little bit on the back of my hand, dot it wherever I want to, uh, wait a couple seconds, I want to say like five seconds, and then apply the pigment, and it's perfect. And my glitters don't like move, they don't go anywhere with this glue, so I have been really, really loving. Um, I actually do want to try the NYX uh, glitter glue. So I'll let you guys know how that goes. Uh, but yeah, if you need a, a glitter glue for any pigments or, you know, glitters that you're going to use, um, I really, really recommend this one. This is the Dual Quick Set um, Strip Lash Adhesive. And I usually use, and excuse because it's like so dirty, I'm kind of embarrassed to put this, but this is the Dual with the green color. 
uh, letter coloring and I really love this one but I got introduced to this one which is new from Duo and the applicator is different it's more of like a plastic thing I don't know if you guys can see um, the Duo with the green letters it actually has a brush and I actually do like the brush a little bit better um, it has like a actual brush and mine is so disgusting. This one has like the plastic thingy. It's really easy to apply um, on the actual lash band. But actually, oh my god. If you guys haven't tried this blue one. Once you apply this on your lashes, you have you to wait like 15 seconds. I was going to say minutes. Seconds. And it's ready to pop your lash. It's so much quicker than the green one. Using this one to apply my lashes has made it so much easier. Because sometimes with this one, I would apply my lash and it would like move because it wasn't ready to be applied to my eyelashes so with this one literally you have to wait like 10 seconds 15 seconds at the most and it's like ready and you pop it and then it's just like ready to go so i have been really really liking this one i got it in a makeup bag um from a seminar that i went to but i'm pretty sure they sell them you know like any makeup stores i'm guessing ulta maybe and just using this glue has made my eyelash application so so much easier so I used to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills pomade in medium brown for my brows and now I was looking through my makeup drawers and I was just like, you know what, I haven't used that one in a long time. And I pulled it out, this is the Benefit Cabrow um, thing for your eyebrows. And I have been loving how it makes my eyebrows look so natural and as well as the color is like perfect. I have really, really dark brows, um, like really, really dark brows. So that one blends with my natural hair color perfectly. Um, and it just makes my eyebrows look so bomb and that has become like a my holy grail for the past like two months So if you guys haven't tried the Cabral, I really really recommend it It just it has a very it has a more waxy formula than the pomade which helps like actually like stick down to your brows um, And obviously set them after but I have been really really loving that product Okay, The next product I have here. This is the MAC cosmetics copper tone blush and it is a very muted pink. I really, really like how this looks on my skin tone. I love when I'm wearing blush and you actually can tell that I'm wearing blush. But it's not because of the intensity of the pink. It's more that I put a lot. But I really like how this looks like super, super natural on my skin tone. It has been my go-to. This one and the other product that I'm going to talk next. So this is the Milani Cosmetics. Um, this is the Bellissimo Bronze Baked Powder Blush. And... These two go perfectly together. I usually use this one and then pop a little bit more of this one on my cheeks and more on my the apples of my cheeks. It just gives me such a nice like glow to my my um, cheeks that I don't even if I have highlighter on, it has a really nice gold sheen which brings a little bit more of a highlight to my face. So those two together, it's like oh, so so pretty. The next thing I have here, this is the ColourPop eyeshadow or Super Shock Shadow in the shade Ladybird. So before I found pigments and how amazing they look in your inner corner, this would be like my go-to inner corner highlight. It is a very glittery eyeshadow, but it makes my inner corner so reflective, as you guys can see. I love me some good, good reflective uh, in my inner corner, really bright inner corners, and this, I wore it so much, I would wear it every single day, even if I was wearing only mascara, and it would really, like, just transform how my eyes would look, um, but yeah, this is just an amazing, amazing, um, shadow, if you guys like a really, like, bright inner corner, I'll definitely tell you to pick this one up, I picked it up at Ulta, because my Ulta, uh, carries some ColourPop products, and then sticking with the eyes, um, I really love how wearing white liner makes your eyes like open, more open and like more bright if you guys can tell. I'm wearing a super easy, um, easy shadow on my eyes today but having a white eyeliner on my waterline makes my eyes look or pop more and look more wide and more open. Um, I just think that it really helps you with looking a little bit more awake than a cream color. Um, so I've been loving wearing a uh, just white eyeliner on my waterline. So the last product I have here, this is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. And let me tell you that this primer has changed how my foundation looks. Like, 
it's a big statement for me, but it has really changed my whole entire like foundation routine. This has an amazing like tacky formula at the end when it's like when you finish applying it, it gets really tacky and it's just like glue for your foundation. I have oily skin and I tend to get really really oily on my nose. Uh, it's just like that place that it like gets really really oily. But since I started using this one, it's just my foundation looks perfect all day. I don't I've noticed that I sometimes like forget to set my face and it still looks amazing. So I'm pretty sure that this primer like gives it so much like that it like everything like just adheres to it and like nothing changes. Um so if you guys haven't like tried this one, I actually uh bought the the travel size, which is like $12 and it lasted me like a good 2 weeks before I actually decided to pick the big one. And I have been in love and I'm pretty sure I'm not going to change my primer because it's so good with oily skin. So if you if you have oily skin or, or um, combo skin, I really recommend you trying this one. You can just go to Sephora and just ask for a little sample. Um, my friend actually did that and that's how she was actually able to like try it. If you guys haven't tried that primer, I so recommend it. It's such a good primer, which I don't hear a lot of people like talking about it, which surprises me. But yeah, believe me, it's going to change like your whole entire like foundation routine so that is it for my may favorites i really hope you guys enjoyed and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe in the little button down there as always all of the products that i use in my video are going to be linked down in the description box as well as all of my social media where i would love for you to join me if you guys have any favorites that you guys want to recommend please also leave them down in the description box not in the description box leave them down in the comment section and until then i'll see you guys on my next video bye